what ChronoZoom does is it brings the best researchers together to collaborate, bringing in science information, humanistic information under one canvas, and bringing history to life. ChronoZoom is a way of visualizing everything that's ever happened in the past on our planet. ChronoZoom makes learning fun because it's visual. You can dive through time, you can look at pictures, you can listen to videos, you can examine articles, but it's a very visual experience. I believe the ChronoZoom project will be very interesting and educating for not only for historians and humanitarians, but for all people who are interested in what's going on in our world. Professor Alvarez and I started ChronoZoom on the chalkboard. It was an idea we had after class talking about the different time scales in big history. How do you convey those scales of, of time from human history all the way back to cosmic history? And I tried various kinds of drawings. I, I'd drawn it in linear scales, and I'd drawn it in logarithmic scales, and I'd tried this way and that way. So after class, one of the students came up, and that was Roland Seikow. And he said, Professor, I think we could show those time scales by using computer zoom technology. Walter and I developed the idea for ChronoZoom. At the time, it was just a little idea we had drawn on the, on the chalkboard. It's become this amazing tool that you can now use in any web browser to see the past. With ChronoZoom, you can browse history instead of digging it out piece by piece. So what's really amazing about ChronoZoom is that it's built by the academic community. At Berkeley, there's about eight of us who are all working uh, to, to create all of the sample content for the beta release. Microsoft Research brought Moscow State University to help and do the coding, the development behind the scenes. So this has really been an international effort. It was a challenge for us to create such application as ChronoZoom, which will be used by a million people around the world. We uh, got a lot of new experience working with Microsoft Redmond team and with uh, Berkeley team. I've never been to Moscow before, but it's great to go online and collaborate with them uh, in real time. It usually occurs at like 2 a.m. because we have to deal with the time difference. What really excites me is them learning a brand new tool that they haven't learned in the classroom and to get them excited about what computer science can really do and how it can help teaching and learning, how you can change the world with technology. ChronoZoom will definitely have a big future. Collaboration is just the absolute heart. It's the secret weapon of making ChronoZoom happen. Here at Berkeley, we have all kinds of ideas, but we wouldn't know how to make them become reality. The people at Microsoft Research know how to do that. They're really good at making something happen. We know that these students and these universities are going to keep growing it and making it a better tool. None of us could do it without the others, and that's one of the really rewarding things about making ChronoZoom. Down the road, we hope ChronoZoom really grows in the amount of content it has inside of it. We've set up the framework, but of course, its greatest use will be when we have lots of data so that people can make comparisons, so that people can see trends and patterns through history. So it's going to be really exciting for students, teachers, and researchers, and that's what we're looking forward to in the future. So what's great about ChronoZoom is that it's built on Azure and in the cloud. So they don't need to worry about being able to maintain it, worry about too many people hitting it, or when it gets terabytes and terabytes of data in it. The students and the computer science departments who work on ChronoZoom can focus on making an amazing tool while we take care of everything in the back end. There are sometimes special moments when we're showing ChronoZoom to people for the first time and we make a great sweep of time. Maybe we start with just a picture of something in the present day and then you zoom all the way out from one day to all of time, back to the Big Bang. And sometimes you'll hear this gasp of breath. It's, ah! And that's a very rewarding thing to, to see, to, to realize that somebody is understanding something they never understood before. And maybe that's the power of ChronoZoom.